two, ready and go. One, two, three, four, hold two together and one. I can't really think of a, of a low point, you know? I mean, y you have your days where it's just like, man, we've done this a lot, or why are we going over this again? We already know it. But I think for me, it's just uh, the occasional frustration with trying to motivate towards the end of the semester here, uh, the trumpet section to like buckle down and play the, and learn the music. Well, first off, I'm scared of heights. Like I don't even like being picked up because it's too far off the ground. And so when I first auditioned for drum major, the, of course they'd pick the tallest ladder, the one that Mr. Hill usually stands on. You have to like climb all the way up. And I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna stand on the top. I'm gonna stay down here where it's safe. So I stood like a step down from the very top. Uh, and then once I like got drum major, I had to get on the actual like really tall one. And so I've gotten used to it, but um, during games we have the, the one shoulder cape that goes down to like, you know, mid-thigh, and Lubbock is really windy, so <laughs> when you're like conducting and your cape is blowing in front of you, like trying to push you off the ladder or pull you back, it's very frightening when you're on like a, you know, one square foot platform, like six feet in the air. Yes. <laughs> so I think I've almost fallen about 10, 12 times, but everyone's always willing to catch me. I don't, just don't know if they're fast enough yet. So. My first or second game of my rookie year, which was 2010, on the field, it was 115 degrees. Wearing that much clothing, I would say at least three layers of heavy cotton material with that drum on, I nearly fainted the first time. We had, a, we had another person faint, I think last year, in one of the, in one of the uh, march overs, just because it was so hot. Um, it definitely hurts because I'm uh, since I play with my bass, I have my mallets right here, and sometimes my pinkies or my knuckles will hit the side, and I've <laughs> I've looked down and I've been bleeding multiple times, and it's like especially whenever it's cold, it just makes it a whole bunch worse because your fingers you can't even move your fingers sometimes. It's really cold. Um, practices practices are the part that you have to get through. Um, they're the the necessary. Um, Nobody, well, I mean, you enjoy practice because you're with your friends, I suppose, but, um, but they're, they're the monotonous, they're the, they're the part that makes it hard to get through four years. Um, um, there, there's fun times and there's aggravating times, really. Um, there's fun new when it's new and there's new shows when you're, when you're rehearsing a show for the 30th time and we have to be silent because we just don't know it, then it gets aggravating and quiet, but it's just kind of a, a necessary thing. Well, I personally messed up this last game. <laughs> we, have, uh, we, did a, we did block tech, that was that thing we did at the beginning of the year where we like make tech and then we do a bunch of fun pinwheels and lines and we make tech facing the other way. And I was standing in one spot and we're supposed to like flip to our right and march and I'm on the end of that line and something on the sideline caught my eye, distracted me just at the right time that I, <laughs> I missed the turn and the poor girl standing next to me nearly ran into me. And <laughs> There's nothing you can do in that situation but just try to get back into your spot as fast as possible and like get out of the way and yeah, <laughs> that happens. <laughs> There was. There was there once. Was tag. There was once tag, once upon a time. And then just, uh, we just got in trouble because people were getting upset that we were playing during rehearsal and I guess they thought we were taking away from rehearsal and so they went and complained to the director and then. They were emotionally frustrated. They don't like having fun. Like it's all business. Us. All business. But no we fun. fun. We like fun. People don't like fun. Mr. Hill's. Uh, mood really is reflecting off of how we practice. So there are some days, for some reason, everyone is 100% focused, ready to go, and we get so much done, and we're actually done early, and you know, he's, we're, we're just plowing through the things we need to get done. And then there's other days where he cannot get us to stop talking, and it's, it's the drill instructors and the visual instructors and the section leaders and all of the, all of the leaders' jobs to try to keep that down, but you know, it, it, it's hard sometimes, and especially with days like rain. There was one day where it was pouring down rain, and we were still having practice, and it was really hard to keep everybody focused because everyone's like, oh my gosh, rain, my hair, my makeup.
makeup, whatever. And, you know, it's, you do what you can to keep them focused. And, you know, it's, it's the leader's jo leadership's job to alleviate most of that possible to reduce the stress on the directors because all they're, they're just trying to help us. And if we're not helping them help us, then it's a disaster. <laughs> We've had a few disaster practices. It happens. <laughs> I would definitely say through the hard times and through the and through the, n the easy times, they those guys have more or less been there for me. You know, if I've needed someone to talk to, and there there's definitely been tons of times I've I've been I'm just gonna quit. Um, especially the past three years. I mean, this year, you know, there's nothing to do. Um, might as well just get through it. But the past three years, it's always, do I really want to do this for another year? Um, especially like during summer band. Um, it gets hard. You're going over things that you should know. I mean, yes, you're, you know, you, you need the practice in all honesty, but, but you're reviewing things you should know. It's, it's, it's the, the fifth hour of rehearsal for the day. It's, it's late. It's hot. It's, you know, early August. It's, you know, and so there's been plenty of times where I just, I didn't know that this is what I wanted to continue to do. Um, that I love the people, but I don't know that it was worth, it's so much time to do Go and Band. So much time. And so I just didn't know if this was really all worth it. Um, in the end, yes, it was 100% worth it. Um, but the fifth hour of practice, your mind's not focusing on the big perspective. You're focusing on how tired you are right now. Um, but that's, you know, but that's what game days are for to make it all worth it.